What we did here tonight was a simulated MVA motor vehicle fire. We start off running hot from the station to the scene like it's a real accident. And um, when you come off the truck, you come off like it's a real, real event. You make sure you come off safe, have all your PPV on, you grab the hose, you do your sweep of the vehicle fire. And then once you're done, we can do it multiple times because we can relight the car. And it's good practice for, you know, for real live events because practice makes perfect. Uh, the safety checks is that you have to make sure that you have your proper CBA, which is your air tank on, ready to go so you can breathe air. You need your mask on, all your gear on, and you have to be able to be breathing air before you are able to go even near the motor vehicle fire because the chemicals and stuff you don't know what's in the car what hazards could be and you got to be cautious of how you approach the car when they approach the car you should always approach the car from the side don't ever approach the car from the front because you never know if the battery can explode anything underneath the hood can explode never never go towards the, the vehicle with towards the rear because you never know exactly what I said about the front you never know what can explode the gas tank could explode and when you're checking, make sure there's no gas leaks, because if there's gas leaks, you want to pull back a little bit, but you don't want to not put water on the fire, because you want to keep it cool, because if you don't keep it cool, then it could explode even more. Always keep pressure on it. There's a straight stream where you just go full, full blast with the water, or you can do a fog stream if you're starting to get tired and you can't hold the hoses with the full stream. You just turn the nozzle and it gives you the opportunity to relax a little bit and get re-situated or you can shut it off and you can be able to change out with your partner that's behind you because you always want to make sure you have somebody backing you up.